What would you do if suddenly the floor beneath your feet began rolling and heaving, shattering glass, smashing furniture? Scientists say it's not a question of if, but when a massive quake will hit the U.S. What you may not realize is you don't have to live in California to be in danger. You might be surprised by which regions are at risk. So tonight, an eye-opening demonstration, something never before seen on television. Dateline took the extraordinary step of putting one family's house to the ultimate test. What Hodakotby showed them shook them up a little. It might also help them and you make some simple plans that could save a life. It is just another quiet, routine day. You are in Anchorage, Los Angeles, or New York, Seattle, San Francisco, or Memphis. You could be just about anywhere in this country. You are at the office, at home preparing dinner, sound asleep in bed, or just watching your kid's basketball game. You're just going about your daily routine. You have no idea that you are in grave danger. There is no warning. There is nothing you can do. And then suddenly, the earth begins to shake. It is an earthquake. In an instant, there's terror. The Earth has unleashed one of its most primal, destructive forces. And if you think it can't happen to you, think again. This could be your home someday. Oh, oh, come on. Tonight, we give this family and you a front row seat to the big one, roughly a magnitude 8.0. KFWB News Time 432. We've experienced what we believe is a very, very strong earthquake to uh, hit the Hollywood area. We've all seen the terrifying images from earthquakes in Los Angeles. Is there anybody in there? San Francisco. Right, go back up. Go. Japan. Italy. and scores of places around the world, including the quake off Indonesia that triggered the devastating tsunami of 2004. The risk is real. It's out there. These are certainty. There's nothing we can do to stop earthquakes. Mary Lou Zoback of the U.S. Geological Survey has studied earthquakes for more than 30 years. Our intent is really not to scare people, but to make people aware. Everyone knows that the West Coast is at risk, but you might be surprised as we take you to at-risk sections of the country you might never think of, like the South, the Midwest, even the Northeast. We are still so vulnerable. With all of our modern technology, we still can't predict earthquakes or make ourselves completely safe. But there are some things you can do. This is a portable earthquake demonstration machine meant to help folks in California. Tonight, we'll give you some tips that might help you survive an earthquake, because someday, you might need them. I left my heart in San Francisco. Few large American cities are more at risk than San Francisco. It is one of the most beautiful and romantic places in the world. It calls to me. But the clang of the cable cars could just as well be alarm bells. The infamous San Andreas Fault, seen here further south, lies just a few miles offshore from downtown San Francisco. Simon Winchester is the author of a book called A Crack in the Edge of the World. If there was nothing in California at all and you were looking for a place to build a city, the one place you would not build it is where San Francisco is today, right on top of the San Andreas Fault, which has to be one of the most active and dangerous plate boundaries in the world. You just wouldn't do it. It's far too dangerous. The federal government says a big earthquake in San Francisco could have consequences far greater than anything we saw in New Orleans during Katrina. 